Hello everybody, John Santos here at the studios of LP, and I wanted to demonstrate a little bit about the maracas, some very basic things about the maracas. It's a very underrated instrument, you know, in this country we, uh, we tend to look at these as toys, you know, when you're about a few days old, bring you home from the hospital, put one of these in your hand, and you kind of know what to do with it right off the, the bat. It's an instrument that everybody can relate to. But in Latin America, this instrument is really a legitimate, virtuosic instrument, I'm going to show you, though, something different. This is a, these are more the, the Caribbean-style maracas that we use in Latin music uh, in Cuba and Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo. These are made with cuero, with skin, and with uh, some kind of filled beans, seeds. And uh, they have a wonderful sound. So I'm going to just show you some basics on the maracas. That is basically how we use it as an accompaniment instrument. Very simple, very... Uh, um, it, it's not complicated. We play straight eighth note pattern, and it's the sound of the maracas that you want to learn how to control. So they're swishy, right? You got all this sound. And so it has all that movement. And you, what you want to learn how to do is to play staccato. And it's kind of similar to what you do with a drumstick when you, when you, when you do this kind of a thing with the fulcrum, and then you snap a little bit to get a staccato sound. So that's how we get a basic staccato eighth note rhythm. By kind of snapping into the position. So one of the most common things to do is straight eighth notes, like to accompany a ballad, a bolero. Nunca, nunca vida mía, pienses eso. We can do effects. Now the other thing though with the, with the maracas is we can incorporate drum rudiments. That's when it starts to get fun. Uh, with, the, with the maraca, you have straight staccato. You also can use the swish, but you can also do rudiments like doubles. This kind of a thing. But listen to what happens when I start speeding up that double, watch. And what's happening there, I end up with a, with a triplet roll because with the maraca, when you play two notes, you get the backbeat. You get three notes for the price of two. So what's normally with a stick, just two notes, you get the note in between. So now I've got ta ka ta ta ka ta You end up with a triplet. So with that information, it becomes uh, interesting because we could do... Things like a six-stroke roll, and, it, and it, it's amplified because of the natural reaction of the beads inside. Those are the six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what I want to do is um, just show you like some improvisations with the maracas that demonstrate phrases that are really exercises and rudiments that I'm incorporating and stringing them together. This is a changui. This is a way of playing maracas in the changui music from Guantanamo, from Cuba. Typical. This is how, this is how the basic rhythm for changui is played. On the one.
Maraca.